Hey, Keller Williams East Valley, we want to jump on here and give you a quick introduction on how to use our new in-house listing system. That's right. We have an in-house listing system where you can place your stuff that's coming soon, properties that are coming soon. You'll be able to say even before they're coming soon, you can advertise them or ask the, the market center who has buyers interested in this property, a way for us to promote our listings internally to our people while still staying in compliance with the clear cooperation policy. You're going to receive an email here in the next day or two that's going to give you the instructions on how to access the site. Where you're going to go is 1kwev.com. Now, over here on the right, you have your login. Your login is going to be your digital key, as in your Keller Williams email. That's right. Your Keller Williams email is your digital key. Much like you have a physical key to the office, you will have a digital key to this website. Once you're in here, the email you receive will tell you, one, your, remind you of what your KW email is, if you had forgotten it, and then it gives you a password. After you log in, you'll see that in here, uh, it gives you, we already start looking at the stuff. What I want you to do is before you go into the add a listing or in-house listings, come over here to where the profile button is, click the profile button, and there you'll be able to change your password to whatever you want. Okay, so you'll be able to use whatever password you're, you're looking for. Now, when you come back to here, you can either hit the back button or you can use the properties here to add a property or view a property. Add an in-house listing. Now, these again are listings that will be only available to Keller Williams East Valley agents, all right? So as you have a, someone that you know you're gonna be putting a house on the market, it's a good time to put it in here and already start to create a buzz and be able to help out, one, your seller, get a quicker sell, and two, your sell, the other buyers, agents here, clients, Etc. looking for properties like you have. You're going to put in here either a street or cross street. Everything with an asterisk is required. City, zip code, beds, baths, garage, property, and square footage and stuff. That's all optional. Then you're going to put in a price. You can either put in a range or you can put in the actual price. Okay. Upload a photo of the property, whether it's one you took on your phone or you have professional photos done or you're lifting it from the internet somewhere, MLS or from Google, whatever. Let's put a property so we know what we're looking at and give us an active date, an estimated active date. So you're not held to that. Then give a little description about the property, what things make the property great, uh, what, what kind of things are happening, all while remembering that we have a fiduciary duty to our client to not discuss anything that we have not been authorized. So don't go telling the whole sordid affair of what the seller is going through, but something along the lines like seller needs to finish painting before it goes active, that kind of thing. You'll then have your, your name here. If you want to use a different email than your KW email, you're able to just change that right there. Add your phone number, and then you're going to agree to the in-house listing policy, which says, one, you're going to adhere to your fiduciary duties okay, of confidentiality and obedience and et cetera, agency to your client. Two, that placing it on here is only for East Valley agents. It's not being advertised to the public. It's only here when we put it in. Later, it can be advertised to the public and that's okay. But when we put it in here, we can have it in here prior to putting a sign up, prior to having a, a list, uh, our marketing done. We do need to make sure we have authorization from the seller. So make sure you have a listing agreement or uh, signed up that gives you the ability to market or at least authority to market the property. And you're gonna put it, you can put it in here. And then when the property goes active, you remember to comply with the clear cooperation policy, okay? That's what you're agreeing to down here. Then up here in the properties, after you submit that, you'll go immediately, it'll take you to the view properties page. And here in the view properties page, you'll see all the different properties we have. So sorry about that. So when you, when you when, after you submit it, it comes here. If you wanna find properties, you're able to just click right here and go immediately to view properties. So right here is all the would be where the homes are listed that as we add them in, we will have our own in-house listing service. And here are some samples of, of ones that have been put in here. So you kind of have an idea when you come in here, you'll be able to see the beds, baths, square footage, estimated active date right at a, at a glance. You'll be able to dial these dials up and down based on what you're looking for, even search it by city. It will filter those things for you. And here's a, an example of what you might see inside it. You know, telling you that the home's been remodeled. They just need to finish a couple things. The seller's looking at or would per, looking for or would prefer a clo longer close. Where the comps are, so be prepared. Ten to fifteen above average is what this one that says it's been going for above the list price. That kind of thing. 
And then there's a little note, I plan to do a, an open house on this day, that kind of stuff that's in here. When you find one that matches your, your client, just give the agent a call or an email and find out more information about it. But this is an opportunity for us to share our listings in-house, gain, uh, gain some traction for our buyers who are, I know are beyond tired and be able to share these in-house listings to one another. Um, version two, yes, I've had questions about what version two will look like. We will be adding a buyer section where we'll be able to have a buyer wants, which imagine going out once we have a buyer section, we add our buyers in, how you'll be able to go out and when you have a listing appointment, say, I actually have four, five, 10 buyers from my office looking for your home right now. And as soon as you sign this listing agreement, I'll be able to get this out to them and let them know about your property coming. And we may be able to get this sold a lot quicker than even if we waited to put it on the market. That sort of thing uh, is a value that most agents aren't bringing. Say, I already have the buyers. You will be able to do that with a version two. So if you have questions about this, uh, let me know. If you have things or suggestions on ways to improve it also, let me know. In the meantime, everybody keep pressing on out there. Stay strong, stay safe. Onward, everybody.